to discuss the New York City mayor's race today, but I saw the news out of South Florida and I had to say something. In case you haven't seen it, at a pride parade in South Florida, some bigot, some anti-gay bigot, drove a pickup truck into the crowd and killed somebody and injured others. Now, that's a terrible, violent, hateful thing to do. But part of the backstory is that previously Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, and the leading non-Trump candidate for the Republican nomination in 2024, signed a law saying it was okay to drive your vehicle into a crowd of protesters if they're blocking traffic. Now, this was not a crowd of protesters blocking traffic. These are people with a permit for a parade. But nonetheless, the spirit of that law that Ron DeSantis signed was that it's okay to do this kind of thing. And that's precisely what happened. So Ron DeSantis, some of this blood is on Ron DeSantis' hands as well. And to the surprise of absolutely nobody, neither of the two U.S. senators from that state have tweeted anything about this. Marco Rubio always has time for some inane red-baiting tweet or some Bible verse that is hypocritical that he doesn't fully understand. But on this, he's silent. And if any of this surprises you, you should be ashamed. This is what the Republican Party is. The Republican Party has, a beco- has become a party that doesn't govern, it trolls, and it agitates. And it agitates for hateful violence, violence against people of color, violence against gay people, violence against Jews. And when you do that long enough, this is what happens. This is only the beginning. And if you want to see this stop, never support the Republican Party again.